Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebbet 21DX. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Hello everyone, and welcome to First 20 here on Stephen Place. My name is Stephen George, I play video games, and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today, I'm bringing you something truly special. And it's not special because I say it's special. I haven't played this game yet. It's special because so many of you think it's special. I've had so many requests this week to play Undertale. So, so many. I've been very blown away by how many of you guys have, have wanted me to uh, play this game for First 20. Now, the great thing is, I was already planning on playing it. And that game is, of course, Undertale. I have not played this. This is completely new to me. But I'm ready to jump in. Um, the reason I know about this game is that uh, it was actually made by a good friend of mine, uh, Toby Fox. Toby Fox, uh, who has went online as Radiation for a very long time, uh, he's kind of an old bee when it comes to Starman.net, and I've known him for, you know, quite some time, and I knew that he had been spending the last few years working on Undertale, and it's finally out. Uh, so I'm really anxious to play it. I've heard good things about it. He actually had a demo out some time ago, and uh, it really shook up the indie game community. There was a lot of people that really liked it. The shtick of the game is that it's an RPG where you don't have to hurt anybody. So I'm really excited to see how that's handled. So, let's look at our instructions here. Z or enter is confirm. X or shift is cancel. Control is menu and game full screen. When HP is zero, you lose. I guess that's pretty straightforward. Name the fallen human. Okay. I uh, don't know if there's a particular name. I'll just go with my own. Don't know how many character slots I get. Do I get seven? Oh, I got six. Well, I'll go with six. Still, it's better than five. <laughs> Done. Is this name correct? Uh, you know, that's debatable, but yeah, let's go with yes. Steven! You know, if I would have used a V, it would have worked. But that's not how you spell my name. Now, uh, Mao has played the demo for this game. It came out some time ago, and Mao loved it. And uh, I actually never got a chance to play it. But uh, because Toby was such a, a huge member of, of Starman.net, a huge Earthbound fan, uh, this his experiences with Earthbound definitely shaped uh, him making Undertale. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't ya? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul, the very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of level. What's level stand for? Why? Oh, it's love. <laughs> Why love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love is shared through... Little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Oh god. Die. Jesus! Oh my god. Uh, uh... Oh, I'm good. Oh, I got a friend. Man, I was not expecting that at all. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Uh, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come! I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. 
Man, that was... Holy crap. That was great. That was great. I love strong beginnings to games, and that was... that was really good. Alright, Toriel. What is this? The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Uh, and I can also save my game. Steven! Love one. I guess it's love. Love one. 233 ruins entrance. Maybe it didn't actually stand for love. Maybe it stood for level. I was just being lied to by that flower. I don't know who to trust. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Interesting. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Uh, also, I wanted to quickly point out, the music in this game, I know for a fact, is going to be really good. The music was made by Toby. Toby has actually spent um, a lot of time honing his musical prowess. I've heard some of the tracks that he's made in the past, and he did the music for his own game, and it sounds really good. Sorry. He, I, I just want to promote my buddy, and I have never played this, and I'm actually already really excited by the flower fight, so I'm curious to see what comes next. All right, Tori, I'm following you. This is an interesting puzzle. Can I read this? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones. Both walk not the middle road. All right. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry. I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. I'm actually using enter, but whatever. Same thing. Stay on the path. Can I climb this? No. Okay. I'm coming behind you. What's up? Do you, re do you really want me to press that thing? The first switch is over on the wall. Yeah. There's a lot of arrows. And some writing. Please press this switch. Toriel. <laughs> Did she set up this area just for people like me? Go on. Press the switch on the left. Please press this switch too, Toriel. Okay. Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. What's this? This switch doesn't even work. Oh, well then, forget that. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. Uh, I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. So this is where the core mechanic of the game is going to come in. Uh, and let's see how exactly it works. You encountered the dummy. Okay. So fight, act, item, and mercy. So if we do fight... Uh, I, we can hit... Oh, so that was a complete miss. I needed to time that right in the middle. Dummy looks like it's going to fall over. So let's try this again. 30 damage. You won! You earned zero XP and zero gold. Ah, the dummies are not for fighting. They are for talking. We do not want to hurt anybody, do we? Come now. So I screwed that up because I was like, oh, fight. I should fight. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Okay, so we've got some foliage. Frog, it attacks you. All right, so let's try some of this other stuff. Act, item, mercy. What is act? Frog, it. Check, compliment, threat. Let's compliment the frog, it. Frog, it didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. <laughs> you won! You didn't get anything, but you won. Interesting. The Western Room is the Eastern Room's blueprint. The Western Room is the Eastern Room's blueprint. Okay. So, that's what I have to do. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Ah, yeah, I see. So I had to follow what was on the the western side to know the the correct path to cross over here. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Probably because you told me to t talk nicely to the dummy and I killed it. You've done excellently thus far, my child. 
However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Uh... It seems simple enough. Uh, Torio, I'm not really sure why you're so upset. I could, I could do this myself. Just... Just jogging. Going out, got my, got my Jordans on. And my fashionable striped shirt. This is, however, the longest... The longest room I've, I've ever seen. Is this, is this somehow maybe infinite? Is this, is this the Mario 64 staircase? What is this? No words. Okay. Oh, there you are. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? I like... I like Toriel's theme. Ring. Hello? This is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright? I- I'm sure I'll be fine. Um, so I can check my menu here. Item. Um... Let's see, how do I- Okay, I, may, I probably don't have any items, is probably why. Stat. Steven. Le level. Love. One. HP 2020. Attack. Experience. Defense. Next. Weapon. Stick. Armor. Bandage. Gold. Zero. And sell. Say hello about yourself. Call her mom. Flirt. Uh, that feels weird because she feels like mom. But I'm really curious what happens when I flirt with Toriel. Huh? Oh, ha, 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 Oh, how adorable. I could pinch your cheek. You can certainly find better than an old woman like me. Click. It's fun that that was an option. Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Okay, so that's how it works. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. It also fully restores your health. We'll go ahead and save again at the leaf pile. So we can go north or... So, oh god, we're in a battle. Wimsum approached meekly. Fight, act, item, mercy. Uh, it doesn't even look like it wants to fight. Like, if I'm honest, look at that thing. Look at its face. Can I just show it mercy from the get-go? Spare. You won! It didn't want to fight anyway. It's just, it's just, it has its own, it has its own life, man. You know, we just, we crossed paths and it's like, oh god, you know, I, I sh I'm probably supposed to fight you. Because you're, you know, you're a human. But in reality, I don't want to. You know, I got a wife and kids. I just really... This is not a good spot for me right now. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> it's clearly supposed to go over here. Oh, I'm in a fight. It's another Wimsum. So I, I wonder if the Wimsums, like, certain enemies are all the same or not. This one just, it just looks very sad. Let's act. Terrorize? I don't know if I want to do it. Let's console it. Because it, look at it. It looks sad. Halfway through your first word, Wimsum bursts into tears and runs away. I feel so bad. <laughs> I, I feel bad for the little guys. Ring. Hello? Th this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Um, God, that's... Jesus Christ, this is the hardest question I've ever been asked in a video game. Um, wow. Dang, they're... <laughs> I've never been... <laughs> this is this is really hard, because I actually really like both. Um, let's go with, uh... Oh. I'm gonna go with cinnamon, but I will regret it. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hello, this is Toriel. Um, you do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I, I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. Uh, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the, by the way. God, I love it. 
Uh, three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. So let's push this. Battle. Frog it. Yeah, this frog also looks sad. I wonder if we can just spare mercy on the frog it. Meow. Oh god. Okay, so this is what happens when it actually wants to fight. You are intimidated by Froggit's raw strength. Only kidding. So we learned during the flower fight that those little white, you know, friendly pellets or whatever are actually trying to kill us, and that's bad. Uh, let's... let's... We complimented it last time and it worked. Can we just check it? What's that do? Attack 4, defense 5. Life is difficult for this enemy. Oh, that makes me feel bad. Meow. Oh god. You are intimidated by Froggit's raw strength. Only kidding. Okay, um, I'm gonna threaten it. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but was scared anyway. Shiver, shiver. Whoa! Froggit seems reluctant to fight you. Okay, well, let's let's not fight, dude. Let's, I would compliment you. Didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply. Ribbit. Don't you jump up at me. Don't you- yeah, there we go. Frogger seems reluctant to fight you. Um... Well, maybe- maybe let's not fight. If he's- if he's reluctant, let's spare him. Yeah, there we go. So if he seems reluctant, that's where we say, alright. We've had enough. Finish this off. We never did go north, but maybe we'll still get a chance to. Especially because we're gonna fall through this floor. Like, absolutely going to fall through this floor. Oh wait, no we're not. Oh yes we are! Dang. We really fell. Please don't step on the leaves. Oh. Okay. It's really bad because it probably doesn't actually do anything, but I feel compelled to listen. That's oh, another whimsome. Listen, man, you 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 don't want to be here. It's it's fine. I understand. I've I've have met uh a lot of a lot of your people. They're they're really quite wonderful. God. No! I don't want to walk on the leaves. <laughs> I gotta not walk on the leaves because it... It makes that random sign happy, which in turn makes me happy! Oh god! Oh! We made it! I really want to walk on the leaves and see what that thing says. It can't be this easy, can it? To walk all the way up here and then walk over? Oh, it is! Thank god. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Man... You got me, and you made me feel bad. Mold small blocked the way. Uh, okay. Flirt. You wiggle your hips. Mold small wiggles back. What a meaningful conversation. Sexy wiggle. Oh god! Ah! 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 Oh jeez! The aroma of lime gelatin wafts through. Uh, yeah. After after you shake your your. <laughs> Your hips at the jello mold. There's really no reason to fight. Ah, oh, crap. I could try going right. Nope. No, you can't. Oh my god, I did it. I did it. Holy crap. That was actually surprisingly difficult. But, uh, I managed to get through. Still fighting more mold smalls, but, um... Oh, I'm gonna imitate it. You lie immobile with mold small. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Sexy wiggle. Oh, we got more of the explosions here. Uh, woo! And uh, let's see, now after lying with it... It wants to be spared. It's just, it's just a jello mold. If we're, if we're honest here. It's just a jello mold and it wants to be mostly left alone. Whoa there, partner! Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty. How's this? Oh my god. Hmm? That was the wrong direction? Okay. Think I got it. God, it's too great. Alright, that takes- Oh! You jerk. <laughs> you jerk. Hmm? Oh, you wanted me to stay there. <laughs> well, you're giving me a real workout. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, check this. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese, it fills you with determination. Go ahead and save. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Oh, well, I think I'll leave that. What's going on here? 
Is that a sleeping ghost? Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Yeah. Here comes Napstablook? <laughs> Nap Napstablook? Um, it looks a, a little confused. Also, the music actually kind of feels earthboundy, which is always a plus in my book. Um, check, flirt, cheer, threat. Let's cheer it. He gave Napstablook a patient smile. Heh. <sighs> oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Napstablook looks just a little bit better. Poor little guy. Maybe flirt a little bit. I just weigh you down. Really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> it did, <laughs> looks just a little bit better. Do I really want to fight it, though? I'm not, I'm not even sure I really want to fight it. Um, Maybe I'll cheer it again. Told Naps to book a little joke. <laughs> oh lord. It's alright, I got it under control. He's going wide this time. Cheering seems to have improved Naps to book's mood again. Um, let's flirt again? I just weigh you down. Oh lord. Yee! Cheering seems to have improved Napster Blake's mood again. Um, let's see. Maybe we can spare him? I'm fine, thanks. Oh god, so, alright. I hate to feel like I should hit him. But maybe I should hit him. Because I don't have to kill him, you know. Kabloom! 14. I'm fine, thanks. Yeah, I think maybe I, I should be... Oh, Lord! Dee! I should be hitting him. Kabloom! I'll, I'll, I'll just get him low, and then I'll, I'll, you know, I'll cheer him on a little bit. Be like, hey, man, I don't want to kill you. You're just... You're just kind of in my way. Kaboom! Still haven't hit it, like, right in the center. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, God. Oh my god. Oh, it's friggin' snake. What is this? Cheering seems to have improved Naps Blick's look again. Okay, um, I'm gonna hit him, I think, one more time. Solid 12 damage. Oh, this, this attack. Shh. How did I get through that? Alright, let's, um, let's cheer him on again. Wants to show you something. Oh, okay. Let me try. I call it Dapper Book. Do you like it? <laughs> okay. Eagerly await your response. You know what, man? That was awesome. I cheer you. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Ah. <sighs> oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. That was one of both the oddest and the best boss fights that I think I've ever experienced. Spider bake sale. All proceeds, all proceeds go to real spiders. Leave seven gold in the web. Let's see, I only have ten. Uh, I don't know if I can do that. Leave eighteen gold in the web. Yeah, I don't. I don't have much money, man. Um, I don't know what a Spider bake sale entails. Yeah, let's do it. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Aw, oh, bless their souls. I've got a, a spider donut. Info. Spider donut. Heals 12 HP. A donut made with spider cider in the batter. Well, of course. Why did, <laughs> why did I expect anything else? I still have 17 health, but at least I have a recovery item, because up to this point I haven't. Uh, another sign. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Come eat food made by spiders. For spiders, of spiders. Ribbit, ribbit. Ah, my friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right, pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. So that's how we skip dialogue. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. Ribbit. These actually, these remind me of, um... 
the uh, monkeys in in Earthbound, and I hate to, comp to like continually draw con uh, comparisons to Earthbound, uh, but I know that that Toby has a history with Earthbound, and obviously I certainly do. So I, I I think that's why I continue to do it. To be fair, the game stand on, stands on its own merits, though. Thus far, I've really really enjoyed the humor. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very, very helpful. It's bad. I actually didn't notice that. Apparently once the name turns yellow, you can spare it. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Good to know. Luke's near, so I'm assuming that if I spare him now, it's not going to work. But, if his name turns yellow, that means that he can be spared. Please don't pick on me. Oh, that makes, <laughs> it makes me feel bad. Ah! Oh, woo! Luke's is gazing at you. So, it's still white. Pick on? Don't pick on. Let's not pick on him. Finally, someone gets it. And it looks... Oh, for a minute, I thought maybe it was like not hitting me on purpose that turn. Okay, so now it's yellow. So that's kind of how we know. So now we can spare it. You won. Got six gold. Uh, hello? I, I just realized that it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Uh, good to know. Good to know. There is just one switch. One switch. And there's some holes here. We've got... Uh, six holes. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Um... Devour? Oh, God. Oh, let's just chat. Let's just chat for now. Plants can't talk, dummy. Okay, fine. Fine, I see how it is. You're not a very nice monster. I'll just let you know. And, uh, now I'm going to eat you. You tried to eat Vegetoid, but it wasn't weakened enough. Contains vitamin A. Oh my god! The battle system is also really interesting, where your heart is directly connected to your HP, and if it gets hit multiple times, you're going to take a lot of damage. Alright, well, guess what? I am going to eat you. Fresh morning taste. Oh, oh, crap. It smells like steamed carrots and peas. I'm gonna hit you again. It's a good hit. 24. Fresh morning taste. God. I'm gonna have to use that donut soon. Vegetoid's here for your health. I'm here to eat <laughs> Vegetoid. You tried to eat Vegetoid, but it wasn't weakened enough. It must have to be yellow again. Farmed locally. Very locally. Alright, stay high. Stay high. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna hit you again. Boom! 24. Fresh morning taste! I'm ready for you. I know that on this particular one, staying high is a good one. Uh, seems kind of bruised. Yeah, I can eat him now. Took a bite out of Vegetoid. You recovered five. Oh, wow! Wow, I'm actually... <laughs> really glad I ate him. Uh, I'm gonna choose this one. Did I get lucky? No, it was the room next to me. I'm gonna come out here. Drop down. Hopefully that sign wasn't lying. Oh, there's some other stuff over there. Alright. Gonna hit this. Is there anything else? Oh, is that my ghost friend? I think... I think that down there is my ghost friend. I think he's back. Uh, my gosp crawled up close. Um, Alright, well, let's... Let's start by hitting uh, this thing. Burble burb. So, oh. Now I see how difficult it can be to fight two enemies at once. Okay, so you can be spared already. Um, and it would probably make my life easier if I went ahead and spared. Just be yourself. What are you doing? Doesn't have a care in the world. Oh, he can he can be spared now. Okay, well, let's, let's do it. You won. Good job. Um, yeah, it looks like to me that there's an item or something over here that I just, I feel compelled to check out. 
Oh, it's a Vegetoid. Oh. I would like to see my ghost friend, um, but honestly, it's probably safest if I eat this spider donut. I'm covered 12 HP. Yeah, that's for the best. Let's drop down here and see if this is the same guy. Are you the same guy? Oh, I gotta fight a guy, a uh, few guys first. Um... The Mold Small doesn't even want to fight, so I'm gonna just go ahead and spare it. Swing your arms, baby! So this guy actually, he just... <laughs> after he gets one attack in, he's like, yeah, I don't care. Everything's cool. So I'm just gonna spare him again. <laughs> Let's talk to you. I fell down a hole, now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh well. <laughs> and there's also another uh, veggie guy over there, but I lost a lot of health fighting them, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pass that up. What is this? It's a switch. Press it. Well, of course. Nothing happened. Oh well, that's a shame. What's this sign say? The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Okay. It's a switch. Press it. Uh, you sure? Uh, nothing happened. Uh, there's another switch down here. It's a switch, press it. Um, it looks like the room is open. It doesn't matter, nothing happened. Alright, moving on. More switches. If you can read this, press the blue switch. The blue switch. Okay, so I think I need to backtrack and get the, the blue switch. I'm gonna try and eat this guy. It's a switch, press it. Um, yes? Nothing happened. Maybe don't press it? But I, I was supposed to press it, so I guess I'll press it. It says nothing happened, but maybe something actually happened. Oh god, no. My heart. Oh, I died. You cannot give up just yet. Steven! Stay determined. So, how does the game handle death? Does it take you back to a save point? Ah, it takes you right back to where you were. So, it just took a minute or two to get back to, uh, to where I was. I also rebought the donut, so I still have the spider donut in my inventory, which is nice. I reread the sign, and it says the far door is not an exit, it simply marks a rotation in perspective. So, I'm thinking about that, and I noticed. There's three, there's three columns here, and when I walk into the other room... After I fight, uh, after I fight a Luke's. So as I walk into the other room, there's two switches, but there's three columns, which means that the blue switch is probably here somewhere. There it is, it's a switch, press it, yes. You hear a clicking sound. So that was a little puzzle, but we got through it. If you can read this, press the red switch. Uh, the red switch is like right there. It's a switch! Press it? Yeah! I did it! Alright, so it's just like the same room multiple times. Oh wait, it's this again. If you can read this, press the green switch. Wait, has there been a green switch? Okay, so that was a hole, and that was not... Oh crap. So I'm guessing the switch must be behind here. It's a switch! Press it! Okay, so apparently that was the green one. And what I think is yellow is green. Oh god, not you guys again. Alright, I ate him. <laughs> As one should do. So now I've come to... Not really sure what was over here. Hello. Ribbit. Ribbit. Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Ribbit. Whoa. What do we got here? You found the toy knife! So it sounds like we may have gotten a... better weapon? Toy knife. Weapon, attack three, made of plastic, a rarity nowadays. Uh, what was my attack currently? Does it tell me? Or... You equipped to the toy knife. Okay, so now this will probably go back... to my inventory. Attack zero! It's bark is worse than spite. Okay, so I got a... Got an upgrade here. And I'm just kind of out in the middle of no- it looks like I'm on a balcony. So we're gonna head back left, and uh, now that we have a toy knife, things will probably go our way a little bit 
a little bit more easily. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. <laughs> How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er... Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Uh, just walk around this big creepy tree. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. That's sad. You go ahead and save the game. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Save! Alright. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Okay. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. The motherly figure. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. So now I have a room. And it looks like I took a sleep. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Is that an item? It is! And what does it do? Butterscotch pie, all HP. Butterscotch cinnamon pie, one slice. So it restores all my health. An empty photo frame, it's really dusty. And what is here? Can we check any of this other stuff? A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Well, I can uh, control my light, that's a nice touch. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Back out. Can I go in here? Just a regular old bucket of snails. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage? Yeah. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. She writes jokes. Definitely bigger than a twin-size bed. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha. A group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. Scandalous socks. Is this a cactus? Ah, the cactus. Truly the most soon array of plants. Uh, let's head on down the hallway then. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. That's interesting. What a mirror. It's you! Oh! It is a water sausage! <laughs> Inside the drawer are flower seeds. Oh, right, check that. I'm just so inquisitive. I like checking things. Uh, so I already checked all these rooms. Let's walk over here before we go down downstairs. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but... I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Nothing, and when can I go home? What? This... this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to Exit the Ruins. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. How do I exit the ruins? I have to do something. Stay here. Uh, I don't feel like I'm allowed to leave the ruins. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. 
This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. I never did see what's up here. Maybe a kitchen? Yeah, a kitchen. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stovetop is very clean. Toriyama must use fire magic instead. But she ran off. She was not, uh, not thrilled with the idea of me leaving. I think I'm gonna check maybe down here. Just see what's, what's down here. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Whoa, 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 what? What? Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. But, but... Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. No, no, but, like, seriously... You want to leave so badly. Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh god. Hi, Toriel. Um, you want to chat? You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh lord. Ah! Ah, my, my soul! Toriel looks through you. Okay, fine. You want to do it? We're going to do it. I'm going to hit you. Not that I want to. Oh, dear God. Toriel was acting aloof. Um, um... Uh... Yeah, I guess I'm going to hit you. I don't know what else to do. I've got to dodge these crazy attacks. Chill in the center. Ah, no, my heart! Prepares a magical attack. Can I not? Oh, God. We don't, we don't have anything to talk about. Uh, uh... Oh, that's right. I've got my spider donut. Better eat it. Mmm, spider donut. Oh, what the... Ah, oh, God. Toriel looks through you. Um, okay. I'm gonna hit you again. I'm really sorry about this. I mean, you've been so kind to me up to this point. Okay, uh, looks like I learned where to stand. I'm gonna hit you again. I... Oh, I came from the right this time. Oh, shoot. Ah! Oh, God! Alright, we're gonna have to eat something else. Uh, pie. I had to eat that doggone butterscotch pie. Okay, careful. Oh, my God! It's like a dance, and you have to learn it quick. Prepares a magical attack. Let's, uh, sit you again. Are you sure we can't talk about this? Weren't you the one that, that loved talking? Oh, my God! Toriel looks through you. Oh my god, I'm not so great at this. Toriel looks like- Can we not chat? Can we not chat about this? You tried to think of something to say again, but... Oh my god, my soul! Listen, we really need to chat. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. Oh my lord. Oh. Okay, I don't know why you're so dead set on killing me. But I'd really appreciate it maybe if we- Wait, they're avoiding me. Toyo is acting aloof. Okay, so... It doesn't want me to talk. I should not try and talk my way out of this. But it's starting- Everything's starting to avoid me. She doesn't want to kill me. She, she knows that it would kill me, and now that my health is low enough, she, she doesn't want to do me any harm. Either that, or she's toying with me in a minute. She's just gonna stab me. Alright. I'm gonna hit you again. Ugh. You are stronger than I thought. 
Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Asgore. Do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you? My child. Wait, did I kill her? I... Did I kill Toriel? Man, I didn't... I didn't mean to kill her. I... Crap. Darn. I mean, I just... I mean, she's trying to prevent me from leaving, and it, and it, I know she said it was difficult, but like I gotta get, I gotta get back home. I got. Dang, man. Oh God, you again. Hi, flower. Hee hee hee. I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans, but when it came down to it... <laughs> she couldn't even save herself. What an idiot! God, what a creepy flower. Snap, son. Undertale. Wow. <laughs> Toby, you did good. You did good. Um, and that is actually where we're going to end it here now. Thank you guys so much for watching First 20, even though it was quite a bit longer than the first 20 minutes. Uh, I had actually asked Toby, I said, um, you know, I'm interested in playing your game because I had been looking forward to it as well just because I knew that Toby was a, such a big fan of Earthbound and that it had certainly inspired his work. And I said, what should I play? Uh, you know, is there a particular stopping point? And he said, well, you can play the demo or you could just play the full game because the beginning of the full game is the demo. And he said it usually gives people a really good indication of what the game's going to be like. So I, I did. I played up until uh, the Undertale screen, which was supposedly what the demo was. And the demo came out some time ago and people really enjoyed it. It was getting a lot of coverage uh, just because it was such an interesting take on the RPG. And it is. It, it really is. Uh, a game where you don't have to kill monsters. A game where you can talk them down. And uh, certainly an interesting battle system moving the soul around. Um, I know that I, I come into this with a little bit of bias because I know the creator. But to be honest, after playing this, it's very good. And it does have a very uh, very much an Earthbound feel, both um, through the humor and also through the music. So, very interesting take on the RPG. If you would like to pick up this game yourself, you can. Um... You can get it from the Undertale website or from Steam. It's available for, uh, available for both PC and Mac, and I'll put the links down in the description to check it out. And uh, it's pretty short. I think it's about six hours, so probably off-screen in my spare time, I'm going to take on the rest of Undertale. Supposedly, the rest of it is very good, so uh, I want to, to certainly make my way through that. Uh, and also, thank you guys for, for, for telling me you wanted to see this on the channel because that actually makes me feel great because this is a game that I wanted to cover anyway and I got bombarded on Twitter with people saying oh man you gotta play Undertale people didn't even know that I knew Toby they're just oh man you gotta play Undertale it's this, it's this really cool game it's a lot like Earthbound and uh, you're right you're right it is and uh, it's fantastic that's it for today thank you guys so much for watching if you got a game you'd like to see on First 20 next week let me know in the comments below and you might see it appear on the channel and I'll see you guys next week for another Stephen Plays First 20